initially we discuss about how to make the basic structure of swiper js and in this lesson we are moving one step forward and we are going to make these navigation buttons functional and also we are going to add the bullets and connect them with the slider okay so let's um let's create the structure first and for the structure as for the for the reference i'm going to refer this structure so we will place the buttons on the right and the bullets on the left side so let's quickly create a structure okay so i'm just moving both of these uh, blocks into another block and let's put a name swiper buttons right and let's make it flex and move the elements on the left and the right so for so, so let's make these buttons functional first right and then we can move on to the bullets so for the buttons if i go back to the script we we are using so you can you can see that uh, there is a property called navigation and inside navigation we have um, we have two classes set up there one is for the next button and one is for the previous button so either we can make use of the same classes or we can also change the names so let's use the same classes but to make them more specific let's add an additional class is gallery so this is going to be the combo class so let's also add that additional class there as well is gallery and as gallery right so let's make this flex let's add a column gap which is like 0 0.5 rims and let's also add the space between the slides and these navigations so for that purpose we can also add the the top margin to this class but let's add a new div block and give it a class name spacer large okay so if i just publish this um, the progress we made so far and let's test this on the publish site so let's refresh the page and now i can actually move the slides navigate the slides with the help of these buttons um so make so make these buttons more um with a better user experience so let's just change the cursor for these buttons so i'm just putting cursor as the pointer so let's publish and and see how it looks so now if i hover over these buttons so now i can see that my cursor turns into a pointer which is a better user experience so this looks perfect for now so now let's work on on the on the bullets so for that purpose we have to create two bullets one which is not active and the one which is active um so let's add a div block and let's give it a name a swiper bullet okay so let's make a width to 0 0.5 or maybe 0 0.75 and let's make a height to 0 0.75 rems um, let's make the border radius to 
99% and change the, the background color. So this is our inactive bullet, right? So let's just copy and paste. And for this swiper bullet, I'm adding a new combo class, which is is active. And I'm just changing the background color for the active bullet. Okay, so let's keep it to a dark color. Now let's just set the layout, which is okay. So let's just reset the height because this height is coming from the component we copied from Relium. Let's make it flex and make it to the center and just add a column gap of 0.5 rems or something. Let's go with 0.35. Okay, this looks perfect. This looks perfect. Okay, so to connect these bullets with a slider, let's go back to the documentation. And in the documentation, you have to search for pagination parameters, right? So you have just press control F from your keyboard and write pagination parameters, right? Just press and you will get to this section. So there we have two important things to make these bullets work. So one is the bullet class and the other one is bullet active class. So by default, um, uh, you can also use these classes, but, but because we have our own custom classes, so we will just use our custom classes for this purpose. So for inactive bullets, I'm just copying this property and go back to our swiper script. So inside pagination, just put this property and then put the class name we use. So we used uh, swiper bullet, right? Press comma, go to the next line and just copy this class, which is for the active ones. So now we have to tell this property that uh, what is the active style? What is going to be the active style for the active bullet? So let's just put as active. So now it's understood by the script as, so this is the class for all the bullets, right? And this is the combo class for the active bullet. Um, so there is one important thing. So I was experimenting with these bullets and I noticed that you do not have to put dot with these classes just put the names of the classes if you put dots this will not work um, this is my new learning and so you just have to put the class name for um, to make it work okay um, yeah so I think that's all so let's save it and publish and let's see what are the results we have. Okay, so refresh the page. Now you can see, so how many bullets we have. So when this active bullet reaches to end our slides. So the last slide is inside the container. So this is working perfectly great. Um, so there is one more thing. If you want to make this functional, so you also want to switch between different slides by just clicking on these bullets. So there is a new property which is called clickable. Okay. So just copy this clickable property and paste it inside there. So by default, the property is false. So you just have to write true and press comma. Save and let's see if we can navigate the slides from by clicking on the bullets. 
so refresh and now we can navigate by just pressing these bullets so this 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 is the benefit if you get familiar with the documentation if you get familiar that how to make changes inside the script and how to connect webflow classes with the script so things becomes very very easy um so yeah so i think uh, let's pause for now um i would say practice what whatever we have achieved for now and then we can move on to the next step so there is still a lot of things to cover um, but this is just the basics. If you are good with the basics, then you can build anything you want because you know how to read the documentation and how to connect the script with the, the front end. So I hope you have learned something new.